Hello, this is Mish, and welcome to this Legion TV show review. So this was for episode 6. So this will contain spoilers. If you're not up to date, go and watch the show, then come back and have a listen. So this whole show was centric around the dream state that the Parasite or the Shadow King has put everyone into. So we see um, that they're in, all in a dream state, and he's or he or she is slowly trying to... Um, break them all down in a, in a divide and conquer um, type technique. So interesting point in with this episode as well, around the time frame. So if you remember from episode five last week, we see the eye takes over the body of, I think it's Rudy, and he fires the rifle um, at David, and Sid jumps in front of him, spinning, spinning her back towards him, and that's the same point we're in now. So the actual time, the actual time frame of this episode is is minute. Um, it's almost as if the Shadow King has um, frozen time and got a joint dream or a joint consciousness um, state that the, 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 all these characters are in, and that is where they're all being controlled. So we're really seeing. Um, and break them down, as I said, individually. They're all in the men mental institution again. So we see um, David uh, has a, instead of suffering his schizophrenia now, apparently he is just um, suffering from depression. So it's cool, quite cool. All these um, attributes that they're having in this dream state are kind of similar to what their character exhibits in, in real life with their abilities. So apart from David, David is one that really doesn't kind of match there. But we see Sid. She still believes that she has the ability or issues around if people touch her. Um, but apparently that's a bit confusing that one because we hear that it's not true apparently in this dream state she has schizophrenia um, we see Carrie and Carrie suffering from anxiety of being separated which is very ironic considering what their ability is then we see Melanie Bird so Dr. Melanie Bird just coping with the loss of her partner 20 years on which is obviously a good reference to her in, in real life because that is a big part of her um, you know, personality, but she hides it quite well. So for Tommy Wallace is in there as well. So he, his character isn't actually um, exhibiting that much. He he's just qu seems to be quite sedate and not questioning his reality. Apart from in his dreams, he seems to be stuck in the loop of his mother's death, um, which is pretty brutal, really, if, if you think about that. So a lot of cool references there to what, what their abilities are in real life in that weird dream state. So we then start to see Sid is really the only person that initially starts to question what's going on, figuring out the situation. And the parasite notices notices what's going on. So Lenny really just sedates her. So the parasite sedates Sid. We see put the headphones on and the music just kind of knocks her out. Then she flies off to sleep. You know, so at this point, things didn't look good. But then we see um, Oliver Bird. So so that's um, Melanie's husband that's also stuck in a dreamlike state. So he intervenes. So we see him approach Kerry in Kerry's dream. And they kind of go off to that um, parallel universe or, or that dream state that he's in um, and have a conversation. But then it cuts off. We don't know what happens after that point. Then we see um, either... Uh, Oliver Bird or possibly Carrie intervene with other characters as well. So we see whichever the character is in the in the dive tank go up to Melanie and I guess lure her through the wall and she breaks through and goes back to the the actual real world scenario of the bullets flying through towards uh, Sid's back. So it's, it's pretty cool. At that point, he points to the bullet saying it's suggesting there to stop the situation occurring. Now is the time. And she tries to touch bullets. Um, seems to either be a burn or electric shock. So that was pretty cool. Kind of locks her up from doing that. And she seems to be unable to move um, Sid and David. And then it was pretty creepy scene where the eyes opened on the wall. And then we kind of cut back to Lenny. So that must have been the parasite actually knowing what's going on. And then we see um, the diver go to um, Sid when she's asleep to help her out, to take the headphones off. It turns out that it is Carrie. So it could be Carrie that's also helping, helping Melanie. Just not sure on that one. What are your guys' thoughts? If you have an idea, leave comments below on that one, obviously. So as for the other Carrie, 
things don't look too good for her. She has the the eye. So he seems to be not so much aware of the situation, but he gets I get the idea that he has a hint of the um something that's happened historically between him and Carrie, um, some violence or some anger or a conflict there. And it's just being egged on by the parasite. So she's egging him on to, you know, keep that conflict going. And we see um, him corner Carrie. She escapes, but then she's suffering from the anxiety of being away from the other Carrie. And um, so there's a bit of a chase there. Not sure how that's going to end. I hope that the other Carrie jumps back in and, and, and saves her. Then they turn around and, and get um, the eye would be pretty good. So we also see um, Lenny or the parasite whatever or the shadow king whatever you want to call it um talking with david and that idea there i guess that once again more confirmation that it is a parasite that it's been with david he the parasite suggested since the womb um which is an interesting idea also it mentioned it knew um you know i know your father which was which was also really cool as well no other suggestions there of who his father is within this TV show, but it, it, you know, from historic references in the comics, it is Professor Xavier. So then we see the parasite just say, "Oh, I don't actually, actually I don't need your mind." So we see David float away in a, a picture or a mirror into nothingness. So he's, in essence, the parasite has taken over full control at this point. By the look of it but what is good that we have multiple characters aware of what's going on and trying to break out so we have sid that's aware carrie and also melanie seems to be aware. but melanie might be taken out as we saw the eyes watching her again to all in all great episode i really enjoyed this one it was an obvious obvious dream state scenario from start to finish but i didn't mind that it was quite cool because it was so obvious that it was just cool to see the characters evolve and get a bit more backstory on them and just see a lot of great acting and a really cool script and probably standout act, acting for me was audrey plaza she was really good as, as lenny because she was able to still portray that insane crazy lenny but at the same time be really serious dangerous and an ominous threat in the background which was really cool and it was cool to see her swap between those personalities it was pretty impressive so yeah, I guess the question for next episode would be how are they going to stop the bullets? We've seen uh, Melanie try to push them out of the way. She can't do it and try and press the bullets, but they seem to be also unable to move and they're fighting back in a way. So interesting to see how they're going to break out of that. I don't think there's going to be much story of them in, in that state much longer because so many of them know about the, the you know the dream state that they're locked out by something so i think it should probably wrap up next episode probably in the start point of that but what will happen to david how long is he going to be locked away so that's pretty cool I'll leave this video here i hope you enjoyed it i hope um, i covered something off that maybe you possibly missed so yeah please thumbs up if you like this video and leave some feedback below as always and subscribe for future content from me around legion and other shows coming up as well so until next time this is mesh and i'll see you later